What would you say growing up in Milo Grogan were your positives and negatives? Well, growing up <clears throat> in the Milo Grogan area, one of the positives we had what we called at that time the boys club. You got to go in and play basketball, shoot pool, play ping pong. There was a, a, a wood shop and you got to learn a number of skills. But it was a gathering point for all of the kids in the neighborhood. And Milo Grogan Boys Club was that spot. Here in the, in the Milo area, see, I, I didn't go to the boys club. Baseball was, was my, my thing, and we, I grew up in the alley, to be honest with you. The alley between uh, Fourth Avenue and Gilbert on one side, and between St. Clair and Lexington on the other. We, we, were, we were alley brats. You know, uh, we played baseball, football, uh, from telephone pole to telephone pole. That was a, uh, you know, that was a, you know, the touchdown, and we put, we had bases uh, 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 laid out, and the ball hitting somebody's yard. Uh, you just hope you didn't break a window. And then the bicycle was my freedom. Once I got to about the uh, fifth and sixth grade. Uh, and getting those bikes, and we travel usually in groups of four, five, or six, but we go from neighborhood to neighborhood riding our bikes. We ride our bikes on occasion down to Wyland Park if we had an early game because we couldn't, do, you didn't want to ride at night. Uh, so these are the things that once again began to expand our, uh, our awareness of uh, the different neighborhoods and, and awareness of, and, uh, and even of each other. We had great um, businesses here. The Apollo family had a produce company, and they were one of the, f the early settlers of this area. We had a Catholic school called St. Peter's, right there on Fifth Avenue where uh, Colonel Sanders and them are right now. And most people don't realize before the freeway came through, and when it did come through, we had a soap, uh, what is it, the, the soapbox derby. We had a soapbox derby, and I'll tell you, every kid in the neighborhood and surrounding areas were there. It was one of the most fantastic events of this area. Um, were you both familiar with the east side back in the time? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. I lived right down the street at 217 and a half Cleveland Avenue. The Cleveland Avenue area at that time was um, a very strong Irish Catholic formatted and we had on the corner of Cleveland and um, Long, we had a Goodwill store, we had a supermarket, we had a place called the Green Derby. There were a lot of thriving entities at that time. I wanted to um, introduce these cards. You might be familiar with them. That is on East, <laughs> East it's East Avenue, something similar to that. And I wanted to see if you remember any of the buildings or any of the structures in there. Oh yeah, that's, that one I do remember. Um, they did a lot of work uh, for people. Um, grinding and welding were very popular kinds of things to have shops. Uh, I remember there was a little welding shop close to my house. This building, if I'm not mistaken, is still standing. Dell's Cleaners, oh my gosh. This is, this is really good. I think you guys have done some really nice research in finding some of these old pictures. Okay, well, I grew up on 4th, when uh, we moved from North Carolina to Columbus, we stayed with my auntie uh, down the south side on, uh, on Miller Avenue. And uh, we, were, we were renters, okay? And then we moved, we were there for, uh, I went to East Main Street, uh, public school and then the next year we moved to 4th Avenue and uh, I remember uh, 857 4th Avenue uh, for as long as I live. Have you found a photo that you connected with or resonates with you? I, I do remember this cleaners uh, off of, I know that's off of 5th Avenue yeah uh-huh yeah yeah because to take a to take your clothes to the dry cleaners in those days, you 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 know it was a special piece of cloth. <laughs> you know you the your Sunday clothes. Otherwise, you washed them. But to take clothes to the dry cleaners, you know, you. Uh, this is the cleaners that I was talking about. Mm -hmm. That's set between um, Peters and Lexington, and I played baseball with the owner's son. You have to understand, as I said before, the Milo Grogan area was a, a very strong Italian community, 
And as we began to move into it, diversity, you hear a lot of people talk about diversity. We learned the understandings of what diversity represented because unlike what most people say, the reception that I received and the things that I did and the places that I could go in this community in Milo Grogan were very warmly received because of the Italian community that was here. They were very receptive. My mind takes me back to my auntie, my uncle, and my mother. One of the reasons that we left North Carolina in their mind's eye was to give, uh, I say, the, the three of us, my sisters and I, and I, a better chance, a better lot in life. And thank God for my auntie who lived on Mill Avenue because she provided housing for us for that first year. They ultimately gave us, moved us to 857 and gave us stability. And that was our, our, the beginning of our roots here in, in, in Columbus. This is from our state championship in 1967, okay? Our coach said that by the way we played and the way we worked together as a team, he wanted everybody on that team to have a ring, okay? On there it says first in school history. That's, that's something that will stay with us through life. It also uh, indicates that we lost two games. Our first game was in Canton, mm -hmm. and we lost to Canton Lincoln in the field house up there. The second game that we lost was to some team over here called East High School. <laughs> <laughs> but these are memories, people. These are memories, and these are the memories that stay with you, as he said, for life. Just do your best. Just do your best. And if you do your best every day at everything that you attempt to do, success is going to come your way. It will. And that's what success is, doing your best. You're successful when you do your best. You're not going to win all the time. But you're going to win a lot more than you lose because you do your best. That's what you owe to yourself. That's what life gives to you. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.